At a time when Buffalo is in need of healing and positive words, listen to a man who has captivated the world with his words. Here's some of my conversation with Bishop Michael Curry. The mass shooting at Thompson Jefferson hit home with Bishop Michael Curry, presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church. He said his heart is heavy with the news that a white supremacist gunman took the lives of 10 children of God in Buffalo. He grew up walking just a short distance from the scene of the crime. Buffalo's black community, he said, raised and formed him, and he grieves with the city. I interviewed Bishop Curry four days before the mass shooting. We discussed what he says is needed in the world, love. My sister, we have got to do it, and more than that, together. Most remember him from delivering the powerful wedding sermon for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, The Power of Love. When love is, is the way, when, when love is the way. It was breaking new ground um, to show us what our common humanity can look like at our very best and at our best moments. Curry, a Hutch Tech grad, grew up on Hamlin Road and still gets with his childhood friends, including a local judge. There's a local woman who played a role in his life when his mother passed away. Her name, Josephine Robbins. He always said he was going to be a priest, always. I mean, she is a remarkable person. Uh, she's proof that uh, giants still walk on the land. They still exist. Yeah. People who actually live to make a difference in the lives of others. Something he's doing now, preaching about a way that can help ease tensions in the world. His book is called Love is the Way. But mm -hmm. why yeah. do we have to tell people that love is the way? Well, you know, I mean, I think on some level we do understand. Our world is on the edge of war in Ukraine. Um, uh, and, and, you know, the people of Ukraine are simply trying to be free. That's all they want to do is be free. Um, and yet they're having to fight for their freedom. We live in a world like this. The opposite of love is selfishness. And that is the most destructive force and power in the world. It is selfishness that is behind bigotry, racism, hatred, homophobia. It is selfishness that um, is behind any person putting down another person so they can puff themselves up. That, but love, you see, is the opposite of that. Much more from him on Community this Saturday.